In-state tuition being offered for out-of-state students starting this fall. Students from Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and New York will be able to attend some Connecticut community colleges for the very same price that Connecticut residents pay. News 8's Tina Detail explains how that discount is helping the state. When you walk through the parking lots here at Three Rivers Community College, you see a lot of license plates from Connecticut. But soon you could be seeing more cars from Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and even New York. Starting this fall, students from those neighboring states will pay the same as Connecticut residents. It's significant when you're talking about $4,000 uh, difference per semester full time. Already 17 new students will cross the border, which for folks in Rhode Island may only be a half hour away. And for New Yorkers from Fishers Island, it's just a short ferry ride away. Classes can be taken in person or online. One of the students that's already registered with this is in our library technician program. And that's something you can only get in the state of Connecticut online. So it's a great program, uh, but you could do that now from Providence. What we did is we purchased the college board list since students are all taking the SATs now. And they use that list to get the word out. I think it really shouldn't matter if you go to a different state, but just because the states are very little, they're close by. It's good for the state because uh, we're bringing in new students, higher enrollments, more revenue. Three Rivers is among seven community colleges reaching across state lines. We have our credit, non-credit schedule. All community colleges in the state will hold a Super Saturday one-stop registration blitz this weekend. They can apply for federal financial aid, it's not too late, and um, get them registered for classes that start August 29th. Also on Saturday, you can take the basic skills assessment tests in math and English so they can place you in the right class. In Norwich, Tina Detell, News 8.